Today on Velocity Garage, we're going to install a micro squirt. After the previous modifications, we're going to need, need a better way of controlling the fuel and ignition on this car. Here's a few modules we're going to be using to get this car running properly. I have a micro squirt controller right here. This is the brain of the operations. This is going to control our fuel and ignition. Um, it's going to take inputs from the sensors and determine the proper fuel and timing for it. So this is going to get our car running good. Um, we have to tune it, of course. So after it's installed, we got to tune it. Um, there's uh, two things we have to use with it. I have an Innovate Motorsports uh, wideband controller. I had the gauge to go with it and also the wideband uh, oxygen sensor. So this is going to input the information to the micro squirt in a zero to five volt reference. So the micro squirt can read that and knows what it means. You can't run just a wideband into a micro squirt or a mega squirt system. It doesn't work that way. The last module I'm using is a insane import performance knock module. This is going to take the factory sensor input and it's going to export it as a zero to five volt reference for the micro squirt as well. Um, never used this brand before, but we're going to give it a shot. I bought it off eBay. wasn't too expensive, but uh, give it a try and see what happens. There's a few things you have to establish first before you install a standalone or anything for that matter. You need to go over some wire diagrams, figure out exactly what you're going to need to make the thing run. It has to plug into certain areas, use the factory sensors. So you got to figure out your wiring. Uh, you need a good ground and power. So you get that stuff figured out. Um, there's a few other little small things, but mainly you need a good wire diagram to figure out what you have to wire the, the module into, or the micro squirt. Um, I have a OEM Toyota manual, so I use that to figure out what, what's what. Um, the goal here is to use this. What this is, is um, it's a mess, but what it is, is um, the pins from the factory, I can't get it out, the factory uh, PCM. So what I've done is I've actually removed the connector off the PCM. And what that's going to do for me, it's going to make a nice connector that I can take the micro squirt wiring harness, solder the wires I'm using onto this connector. And then what this is going to do is plug straight into the car. I've already figured out the wires I'm using with the wire diagrams and some research. The wires I'm using I've labeled. There's not a whole lot of them. You don't need a lot to make the car run. Uh, I've labeled all the wires on that side. So what I'm going to do is um, basically essentially bind the wires on this harness and then solder them on from the micro squirt. The first thing you got to do is get the micro squirt hooked up with a power and a ground. That way we can fire it up. And then as we add sensors, we're going to check the sensors to make sure everything we're doing is working. Because there's no point in soldering a bunch of wires and then testing for the first time and nothing works. It's just test it as you go. Um, so the first thing we gotta do is get a power and a ground. After that, we're going to mount our micro squirt in the glove box. Um, after we're done mounting it, we're gonna then trim the wires and start soldering away. So, uh, like I said, the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to find a nice power and ground. Um, according to the schematic, I have the proper pins, but we're going to double check it. It's always good to double check your pins. Um, might be a discrepancy in the manual or something, but we're going to check it. So, uh, let's get that done and let's get this thing going. I've established my ground and power. I've got that taken care of. So, the next thing I got to do is get my glove box modified to where I can actually mount the micro squirt inside of it, and we're going to mount it in there, run the wires out the bottom, and everything will be hidden and look real clean. And uh, I, I think I'll be happy with it, but we're going to see what it looks like. So I got to drill a hole in the bottom of that. That's the actual glove box there. And then I got to drill a hole in um, this panel that goes behind it so I can run all the wires nicely through there. So um, 
That's going to take me a little while to do. I'll use the power drill for that, and I'm not going to film that because it's really, really annoying to edit through power drills, and I don't think anybody really wants to hear drill. So I'm going to get to that, and then you guys will see it once it's mounted and ready to go back into the car. All right, I've got everything installed in the glove box for now. I got the boots gauge, I've got my micro squirt, and I've got the controller for the wideband. So I just drilled a hole in the back side of it. You know, all the wires come out here, out the back bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and install this in there, and then we're going to start doing the connections to get this thing going. 